All right, friends, the next group of five is really going to be a group of six, six because I'm going to group all the woodpeckers together um, in, the, in this one segment. Uh, the first woodpecker, a very common woodpecker in our area, is called the red-bellied woodpecker. And looking at this picture, would you would say, Ms. Coleman, that does not have a red belly. And you would be right, but if you held it in your hand and looked at its belly, you would see that there is a pink tinge to the feathers there, and that's where it gets its name. But what would be obvious to you is that it has a red uh, cap uh, running down to the, from its forehead to the back of its neck. It also has black and white zebra stripes, horizontal stripes running down its back. All of our woodpeckers, except one, have this black, white, and red color theme. Black, white, and red is a woodpecker. Also, woodpeckers have this stiff tail that they use as a prop as they are clinging to the side of a tree. And of course, their method of operation is to peck on the tree and get insects out. Um, now, the red-bellied woodpecker makes a sound called a quirr. It's a trilling sound. It makes other sounds as well, but this is the one that's most easily identifiable to it. Red-bellied woodpecker. Okay, that's it. It's this throaty quirr. All right. Um, pretty unmistakable if you hear it. Now, that's also typical, though other woodpeckers, the flicker, can make this chirr, 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 chirr sound, too. Um. Okay, that rattle sounds almost like a kingfisher, so that's kind of something to be aware of. We'll talk about kingfishers later. Okay, and the drumming pattern. Uh, woodpeckers drum to attract mates, uh, and uh, the loudest drummer gets, gets the girl, I guess. Okay, so if all else fails, you listen to the recording and during the test and at least can figure out it's a woodpecker because it's beating its brains out. All right, um, actually not. It's amazing that they can beat like that and their brain has certain, uh, and skull have certain adaptations such that they don't injure themselves. Our next woodpecker is the only woodpecker we have that does not have the black, white, and red motif. It has a brown, black, and gray motif. It's our only brown woodpecker. It's the northern flicker. As you can see, it has a black bib, um, heavily speckled breast, brown body. Um, they're often seen feeding on the ground. They will they go for ants and things like that on the ground and then fly up in the tree. They have a white rump patch that if they're flying away from you and see this flash of white flying away from you, uh, that's often an easy tip off that you have a northern flicker. Um, here is what they sound like. One second. Northern flicker. A long, long, drawn out. We're going to hear another bird that's very similar, but it's going to be much shorter in duration. So the northern flicker, you want to hear that long, repeating chuck. Okay, and of course they do also drum somewhere. That's a. Oh, we're here. There it is. Okay, so also the drumming, but that long thing, amongst other sounds, but for our purposes, that long drawn out noise is the best for a northern flicker. Now, the pileated woodpecker is the classic woody woodpecker woodpecker, bigger than a crow, big black bird, or certainly as big as a crow, enormous long beak big flamboyant red crest streaking on the face. You can't mistake it. There's nothing else that looks like this. Um, and he has the same sort of sound that flicker does, but it's shorter and a little bit more maniacal, which is where the Woody Woodpecker laugh comes from. Um, 
Pileated Woodpecker. Okay, did you hear how it's that same laugh, but it's shorter? Um, And then there's that maniacal, this is really the Woody Woodpecker thing, this ha-ha, 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 as he's flying off. And if you don't know who Woody Woodpecker is, look him up. All right. Um, all right. Next woodpecker is a downy woodpecker. He is our smallest woodpecker. Uh, we're, we're with the black, white, and red. The red is so small on the back of his head, though. If you were at any distance, you might not notice it. But what you would notice is that he has a white skunk stripe that goes down the middle of his otherwise black back. So black and white, white breast, black wings, but a white skunk stripe down the middle of the back. Uh, he has sounds like the world's tiniest horsey. He makes a whinny sound uh, like the world's tiniest horse. Downy Woodpecker. A little peep, 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 peep. And then... Whinny. Tiny horse. And then we'll hear him drum. Okay, so there's your downy, uh, lots of pip, pip, pipping, and then the little whinny like a horsey. All right, now this guy's a little out of order in your uh, chart, but he is the red-headed woodpecker, an incredibly striking bird. You can't miss him if you see him. Black, white, and big, bold patches with, of course, the completely red head, and he has got a pretty maniacal sound to him. Let me see if I can find his track. I think I remember what number it is. Hold on. Red-headed woodpecker. Okay, it's wild yelping. This Okay, sounds like he's getting goosed. Okay, so that's our uh, red-headed woodpecker, completely redhead. Uh, notice how he's using that tail as a prop again against the side of the tree, as all woodpeckers do. All right, that's our next group, and that was six, but they were all woodpeckers, okay? Um, I think that was six, one, two, yeah, whatever. Okay, Coleman, one, two, three, Actually, that was only five, I guess. I was wrong. Maybe we don't have six woodpeckers. Okay. Anyway, that was your woodpeckers. So, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.